video two of this induction heater. And as you see here on the schematic, it talks about testing the diodes with a multimeter to get a match. Now what that means is, these are some actual diodes here. We're going to put our leads on the diode and then check our meter. And the meter shows 6 to 8. Now we go over here to another diode and we'll check it with a meter. And it shows 634. Now when you put these diodes in a circuit, you want to keep these two numbers as close together as possible. Maybe two or three off if you can get them that close. If you don't, then the gate voltage will go high on one of the power MOSFETs and the frequency goes low and it doesn't function as efficiently. Now we'll show this schematic a little more. A little close up so you guys can see what it says. Okay, now we're going to move over here to the actual unit itself. Now, these copper rails that are on this thing are 10 gauge wire. And in the previous video we talked about mounting them on these pieces of circuit board that are cut. But what you could do is go to eBay and buy these. These are 10 or 12 position connector bars. And with these, you'd be able to slide the wires, loosen the screws, slide the wires straight through. And then on the ends where the power MOSFET go, you would have to bend them to match the leads. The only thing is you'd have to figure out a way to fasten these plastic pieces to a circuit board and stuff like that. Now we're going to talk about the capacitors. These capacitors here were purchased on eBay. They're 0.33 microfarad, 630 volt. Now, if you look at the unit itself, over here, what's inside these capacitors from China is pretty much just one of these. And it's really in a plastic case, and it's potted with epoxy to draw away heat. So technically, you could buy the yellow capacitors and use them, but you'd have to figure out a way to cool them. You'd have to glue them to an aluminum heat sink or somehow pot them in epoxy. And I don't know if the frequency would be high enough on them, if they would go to the frequencies that this thing runs at. The capacitors that are on this board now will run at 50 kilohertz. Now, we're going to fire this thing up. We're going to hook some power to it. Not going to be easy, but we'll get it hooked up. There we go. Now it's hooked up. And it's running at 167.4 kilohertz, which is pretty fast. And we're going to take a piece of metal, and this is over here in the piece that is going to be used for when I'm heating stuff up. We're going to stick it in there. Now, it's heating up. You can see that it turned red already. Yes, it's a very small piece of metal, but a larger piece of metal takes a little longer to, to get it hot, so we don't want to make the video too long. But this uh, handle piece here, we're going to talk about that and how to make it. And this cable that runs down out of these pieces, this is two gauge cable. And it came from a uh, vendor on eBay right here. It's um, 10 feet. I cut it in half so I got 5 foot cables. That was $20. And then <clears throat> out here on these coils, if you see, there's a space between the, each coil. You must have a space there, even if it's only a few thousandths of an inch, or the unit won't function. Now what I've done, I've ordered some high temperature fiberglass um, loom that I'm going to slide on there before I wind these coils. Now you can make the coils any size you want. They can be, you know, up to two inch. And the better it fits on the piece of metal you're trying to heat, the faster it'll heat up. And 
the rule of thumb is you have to have the coil with no insulation. It's got to be big enough where the piece can fit in without shorting the coil out. Unless you get some of this fiberglass stuff like what I have. Now this piece up here, we're going to talk more about how to build that. And we're also going to talk more about this mounting piece here where the cables mount. And how to isolate this from the mounting bracket that supports it. Because these cables are massive. Anyways, we'll talk more about that in the next video.